have you ever had a dream or just one of those gut feelings? You knew something was going to happen and it did. That is what we call premonitions. And I am going to be sharing some of the ones that you have sent in to me. Hello there, my spooky friends and my wonderful wild weirdos. Yeah, I'm I'm in a mood today. I, I, I think like Scully's whole dating, online dating thing has kind of inspired me. I'm feeling some kind of way. And there's a hurricane coming in. So, you know, there's that. Uh, we're kind of just waiting on Helene. 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 I, I don't know. Helene. Maybe... Is it better in a different accent? I don't know. I don't know. But tonight we're going to talk. I have had too much coffee. But we're still going to talk about premonitions, okay? That is where we're going. And y'all sent me some great stories, and I can't wait to share them with you. All right. Premonitions. This one is sent in by Pegs1659. Things do run in families. My paternal grandmother, my dad, and I all had a knowing. My mom just learned to accept it. I love sausage balls. Okay. <laughs> all right. I, this has got to do with the story, right? I. But, hey, Peggy, Pegs, I love me some sausage balls, too. <laughs> no shade here. Okay. I love sausage balls. And I was in my living room when I got a clear picture of my mom pulling a pan of sausage balls out of the oven. I immediately picked up the phone and called her. When she said, "When I'm sorry, this is just getting me all tickled. I love this story. When she answered, I said, you made sausage balls. She replied back, dang it, Peggy, those are for your father. I ended up scoring some of those. <laughs> Let me tell you, I don't know if that's premonition or that's just like the universe telling you it is time for sausage balls. Um, it, it, it is funny. No, I think I think you knew. And I think it's so funny that she's like, Daggum it, Peggy. <laughs> dang you, Peggy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love that one. Um, and hey, what a girl won't do for some sausage balls. I'm just saying. Not saying me, necessarily. I'm not cheap. But I can be bought with sausage balls. <laughs> okay, this one is by Bobby K. Dillon. I had an adult student who said her mother had premonitions when something bad was going to happen in the family. Only family stuff. She didn't consider this a gift at all. One day her mother phoned her and said, don't drive to work today, get the bus. My student said, too late. I crashed this morning, the car's a wreck. Wow, well, at least she wasn't hurt, but it's kind of strange. It was, is it a mom thing? I don't know, I think sometimes we know. And then, you know, sometimes you get a premonition and you don't share it or share it right then. Or maybe sometimes it's happening simultaneously and you just don't know. I really don't understand all of this, but that is a cool story. Thank you for sharing it. Okay, this one is by Enzia Gold. I had my first premonition when I was eight. I dreamt I was riding my bike and fell. As I was getting up, an old man pulled up in a sporty red car. I heard a voice say, do not get in the red car. The next morning, I was riding my bike down to the post office for my step-grandma. Along the way, I fell off my bike. As I was standing up, an old man in a sporty red car pulled up. Oh my gosh. He offered me a ride. I remember the voice in my dream telling me not to get into the red car, so declined his offer. He persisted two more times I get into his car. I yelled, no, as loud as I could. The road workers heard me, and one of them came and shooed off the old man in the red car. He walked me and my bike home. I had to get stitches in my chin, so immediately my stepmom took me to the ER. There I found out my stepmom, who was no longer married to my dad, took me across state lines illegally. I was returned home safely. Oh, wow. Jeez, that's a lot. Especially a dream, and it happened just like that. 
and then you oh wow you found like so you were kind of kidnapped sort of wow that dream i am sure saved your life can you imagine what would have happened if you had gotten in that red car and thank goodness for the worker who took you and your bike home that is amazing i love that story so glad that you paid heed to that dream all right this one is by Kristen. i don't know how to say that oh yin oh yinbo oh yes Kristen oh yinbo i'm trying my best Kristen. <laughs> I've had premonitions my whole life, not those I'm very close to, but I have for others, including people I care for as a disability support worker. I knew my client's relative was going to pass on, and she did, within a week. That's, you know, funny because I have had premonitions too, like people that I don't know really at all. Twice in my lifetime that I can think of offhand, I just looked at them and knew they were going to die very soon. And both of them within a month had passed away unexpectedly. So look, I get it. Um, and you definitely, it seems like it does happen to people you're not as close to, right? At least it does for me. Okay, this one is by Lucy Bridal. I've had many paranormal experiences since childhood and as an adult. When I was nine years old, my dad passed from cancer. When I woke and readied myself for school and then sat in dad's special chair, I suddenly knew he had passed away and right away the phone rang and I looked at my mother and she said, daddy died. She answered and it was the hospital calling to tell him he had passed. Let me stop and say, wow, that probably threw your mom for a loop. I was visited after in the form of a man in the brightest, most blinding light. I actually sat straight up in the middle of the night and sat straight up out of a dead sleep. Another time, a few months later, when I was sitting at my desk in my room, when a pencil holder he had made me moved on its own, sliding across my desk about four feet. Y'all know I don't like these sliding stuff, touchy-feely, go, mm, no. I was terrified. Many other things like doors closing, etc. I miss him so much and I wish I wasn't so frightened. He was my hero and I miss him. I've survived near death experiences that I should not have survived and I feel like someone has been looking over me. You know, it's probably your dad, honestly. That is probably exactly what is going on. Somebody is watching over you. I mean, I like the idea of somebody watching over me, just like, I just don't want to know about it. Like, don't be moving stuff, you know? Mm -mm. No. Just silent. Silently watch over me, okay? I'm good with that. Okay, this one is by Lori Kittle. Definitely interested in premonition stories and dreams because I think I had something like one last Monday morning. Oh, wow. So this is recent. Last Monday, right before I woke up in my dream, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a big ten of spades card flew up in front of my face, and then I heard the words, remember this card and look it up. And then I woke up, when my sister, who lives with me, was tapping on my bedroom door, asking if I was up yet, because something was going on across the street. As it turns out, our neighbor had just died that morning, so I got interested in all that because we've known them a long time and was sad to hear of his passing. So I forgot all about the dream and the card until that afternoon when I finally got around to looking up what that card meant because I didn't have a clue. Well, my jaw dropped when I read what it meant. Unpleasant news was what I read. I don't know if it meant anything, but I sure thought it was right on point with what happened just that morning. I agree. And isn't it funny how, you know, in a lot of these premonition stories, it's things like a card. You have to look it up. It's something that your conscious mind really doesn't even know. Like, how would you even know that? But yet it came to you in that dream. So you know there's something else going on there because it's not knowledge you already had and it was coincidental, right? This is brand new stuff. 
So I think that is very interesting. Thank you for sharing that story with us. This one is by Heather Pesterfield. I had a premonition that my father would pass when I got pregnant for the second time. And unfortunately, this came true. I'm sorry. Then it must have been a day or two after I turned around and saw him sat on the sofa with my son and then husband. I turned away and he was gone. So I guess he was saying goodbye to me. And maybe he just wanted to confirm everything that you thought. Yeah, I think he probably was saying goodbye. Thank you, Heather, for that submission. Okay, now I did a community post on my YouTube channel that said, if you've had a premonition that came true, I wanted to hear them. So a lot of these are coming directly from there. Although I do have some emails that people have sent me. We'll do that one another day. Uh, this is by Johnelle Old. One that will always stand out to me is I dreamt I was watching out a window and I could hear people talking that weren't aware I was there. I was high up in a building of some sort and could see part of earth and water, a coastline. I heard these men talking and saw something in my peripheral go from the building slash non-moving plane window towards the earth and it hit the coastline causing a ripple effect that caused a big wave i saw closer buildings shaking and falling and woke up now that is a horrifying dream my daughter was getting ready for school here in new zealand and we popped the tv on to hear there had been an earthquake and tsunami in mexico if memory serves me well both events happened while we slept here and I felt I saw it being made to happen. Not saying they were man-made disasters, and the, but my dream came from nowhere. The TV was in my daughter's room, and I'm just not a news watcher by nature. I saw this ball of something being projected through space towards that coastline and saw its tail of what looked like fire or something. Interesting thing, dreams. Yeah, I have had several dreams of plane crashes in specific ways that, like, happen the next day. It, it's crazy. It's like, how do we know? How do we know what is coming? And, you know, some people say that we are all part of a universal consciousness. I don't know if I believe that. I don't disbelieve it. I don't necessarily just say, oh, yeah. But it would seem that we are all connected don't you think and in some way the tragedy uh that happens in one part of the world often a lot of people in another part actually have premonitions or you know dreams or gut feelings whatever so does that prove that we are all connected and if we just pay attention we can sense these things i don't know all right this one is by samantha the card girl and this will probably be the last one on this episode. Speaking of premonitions, I did a few years ago. I had a dream my husband woke me in the wee hours of the morning and told me something was broken in the basement and he called someone to come fix it. Here's where it gets funny. In my dream, not only did the repair people come, but so did family and friends. <laughs> Gosh, there was pizza and drinks, a full-blown party, and the sun wasn't even up yet. Two days later, it's about 4 a.m., my husband wakes me telling me the furnace wasn't working and asked if I'd like him to call someone now or later when they were open. Realization about my dream hit, so I, to I told him later when they are open because I really don't want a house full of people before the sun is even up. <laughs> Bless your heart. I don't blame you one bit for that, especially in that dream. Like, you knew something was going to happen. Like, yeah, I'm not much of a people at my house kind of person. Like, I have events sometimes, but it's very limited, okay? My house is my sanctuary. <laughs> no. But I do believe that we know things. I'll tell you this right quick before we leave. This has been so many years ago. My ex-husband and I were looking for a house to buy, and we found one. We had, you know, signed all the preliminary paperwork, and we were just kind of waiting for closing date. And I was so excited about this house. It, it's not like it was anything special, but it was just ours, and it was very 
unique. And so I had a dream about a week before closing that I was in that house and we had just moved in and I looked down on the floor and I saw all of these snakes, like snakes just running through the floor, like through the linoleum, through the what, whatever kind of flooring. I can't even remember what was down now. And I saw all these little lines and I was like, oh my God, there are snakes all in the floor. Well, I really don't know how they got by with this, but the house had been sitting for a little while and we did have an inspection and a walkthrough. Now, when we did our walkthrough, um, the water had not been turned on and I think actually it's supposed to be before you sell a house, but in this case, it wasn't, we didn't think anything of it. So of course, when we turned the faucets, nothing happened. And they're like, okay, well, you know, as soon as you get the water turned on, whatever. Well, we signed the papers and it was a couple of days before we moved in. When we got there, the water, like we could tell something was wrong. Um, I can't remember if we heard water running, whatever. Anyway, my husband gets under the house and it's November. It's cold. Every single pipe under the house was burst everyone now thank goodness he worked in construction and he could fix all that um but it was crazy and i'm like you know would we have even bought the house and i didn't interpret it correctly i'm just like there's something wrong with the house there's snakes like i'm freaking out there's snakes in, in the house yeah, there's snakes in the floor no it was the pipes but that was the way my brain interpreted it so um we ended up you know, fixing everything and everything was, it was expensive, of course, but you know, the joys of home ownership, right? Okay. Scully is ready to call it a night. I guess he, I think what he really wants is just to get on the computer and talk to, you know, the girlfriend that I still haven't met, but I'm sure it's coming. We're, we're working on a meeting, an event. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I'll let you know. In the meantime, stay safe from all the hurricanes and the craziness outside. Whatever you do, just stay spooky. Bye-bye.